And for good measure, a couple more over here. And, uh, and yeah, that's enough. <laughs> now, we're going to spend some money, give these people a bus stop here, and toss in one over here. I know these wealthy people aren't likely to take the bus, but, you know, you got to think about functionality in the game as well as aesthetic design. Oh, look, the mayor gets to have a house. Right here. A-OK -okay with me. But yes, this area will be called Valley Ridge. Oops. I'm not sure if I created a sign like that or not. And we're going to create some grassy areas along this road. We're going to make everything all pretty. Now don't you knock down my sign, you grass. Alright. We'll even put grass on the side of the ridge, because why not? And we will put it in selected places between these uh, houses. As you may imagine, this really seeks, this really helps to really bolster the uh, what am I going to call it? The uh, land value. So, we have that. And let's say there was a road stretching here already. Well, someone else is going to want to build something in here. So how about this? Instead of an upscale uh, upscale spaced out housing development, how about we have a few wealthy apartment buildings? Alright, we're gonna build a, a row along here. We're going to have the road go around here, and another row back here, making very sure that these roads do not connect to the roads of Valley Ridge, because if we know anything about the kind of people who live in these places, they like their privacy, and they don't like people cutting through, so no other road shall be allowed. And what do these kind of t places have? Well, for one thing, they have tennis courts. So we're going to put not one, but two tennis courts. And we are going to put a bunch of... a bunch more of the grass here. And look how fancy everyone's getting already. Now let's see, what can we do special for the entranceway here? How about some gardens? And for good measure, let's throw in a bus station. And there we have it. Another residential development. And what will we call this? How about... We will call this... Pheasant Glade. There we go. Not sure if that's how you spell pheasant or not, but eh, who cares? Alright. 
And of course one dude has to have his random mansion on the main road, so we'll put that right here. Alright. Well, we know these places probably have other roads already. First, we're going to continue the rails through here, because we can. Oh, look, we have a tunnel. How nice. I didn't even ask for it. They built it for me. It's very, very nice of them. Alright, we'll build a road back here, and I suppose this can connect right here. Because it's not going to be really a major cut through area. There we go. Now, time for another one, I say. Another one more in the style of Valley Ridge. Well, the designer wants to make it well back from the railroad tracks because, you know, who wants to hear the noise of a train passing through, you know? They like their peace and quiet, so we're going to put it out here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes, these are not the small suburbs of New Babylon. These are absurdly spacious suburbs. And they're not powered. But don't worry, that shall be fixed later. Alright, and there's fireworks going on because... They're just so happy to live in uh, such a posh community. All right. We'll continue this road down here. And over here, we'll have this road connect down back up to here. And before we uh, do that, we'll build just like that. We'll build a big long one like that, because why not? Oh no, power lines. Oh, whatever shall we do? There are power lines visible from our houses. Oh well. We'll build some bus stations here for them. Build you stupid bus... Eh, whatever. Alright, and now what we'll do is fill in some more... Uh, space. What a basketball court in this area. And some more of that grass. Oh, look, and um, we'll put a community church over here, right at this corner. Ah, what did this do? Ah, okay, that's all right. We'll let me put grass there, but. That's all right. Having trees and such is just as good. Yeah, it really does limit you based on random factors that I don't really know. But that's okay. You know, since worrying about such things. What are we going to call this one? Hmm... We will call this one Fiddlingham Manors. Because there's nothing 
that says home, like having a suburban development being called manors and pretending you have a estate. All right, time to build one more over here. Oh no, this one's close to the main road and the railroad tracks. Whatever shall we do? Okay. Let's fill it full of green. Full of green, I say. In fact, let's even put the green before we put the, uh, everything else. Oop, forgot one space of road. Hopefully the green will shield these delicate people's ears from uh, that thing. Well, there's always like a low density corner thing here, so we're going to put that there. We're going to put another one here. Oops, let's... Boom. Yes, isn't that so SimCity? Or even the simple thing of destroying a bunch of grass to get more different grass creates an explosion-like sound effect. This will have branching paths. But no matter which path you turn, you will find green grass. Yay! Where everyone has their sprinklers on all the time, even during droughts. Because you know what? We really need green grass. You heard the expression, the grass is always greener on the other side? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the other side. This is where the grass is greener. Alright, come on. Yes, I'm pretty sure our budget is going to hell, yep. Because <laughs> of all this green grass. But that's okay. 